Let me ask about another name that has popped up for the Pittsburgh Steelers. Yesterday, Benjamin Albright, NFL insider, Denver Broncos radio host, said the Steelers have reached out about Brandon Ayuk and Debo Samuels. They've also called the Seattle Seahawks talking about a possible trade for DK Metcalf. I have been on record more than once this offseason saying DK Metcalf is a name I would avoid if I was the Pittsburgh Steelers, but they don't they don't listen to me often, and uh, I, I'm okay with that. They call about, D, or about DK Metcalf. The kid's 26 years old. He's coming into, I think this is the second last year on his contract or on his current contract. And I mean, there's no hiding the superstar in DK Metcalf. Do you think that's a real possibility for the Steelers? Do you think it's a smart move for them to call? Uh, you know, I don't think it's I, I, sure. It's a smart move to call. Um, I don't know how like this is the most expensive in terms of what option in terms of what you'd have to give up. I'd imagine um, like. I don't know. There doesn't seem to be any beef between the Steelers and DK Metcalf. Doesn't seem like there's any hold out or hold in impending. Um, you know, maybe they don't want to pay his next contract because uh, it's yeah. going to be even. It's going to be massive. Um, but I don't. I, I I don't think this is really like a very realistic possibility. I mean, I think it's a yeah. Let's kick the tires. Let's see what. Let's see what. Uh, what they're willing to to ask for, or what they're willing to give up. Um, I think it's more exploratory than anything else. I mean it seems like the Steelers are just kind of reaching out to just about every team that, that has a superstar wide receiver and saying, out of curiosity, what, what would it take for, for you to part with this guy? And so I think yep. that's what this more is. Um, I, 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 like I said, I think this would be the most, like this would be the most expensive in terms of what you'd have to give up. Um, like this is, I don't know if it's a first round pick, but it's, it's at least a second. It's probably more than that. It's multiple picks, um, over multiple years. Yep. Um, so it's it'd be a hefty price tag. I'm curious why why do you think this is a a name that that the Steelers should avoid? I don't think I've heard that take from you. So my my thoughts on DK is I think he is a phenomenal football player, superstar. There are no questions asked there. Like I think DK comes to the Pittsburgh Steelers and he is everything you'd want DK Metcalf to be. There's like I am not I am not a a critic of his talent. I'm a little bit worried about what happens if you put DK Metcalf and George Pickens on the field together, not off the field. I think DK Metcalf is a, a great leader off the field. I've heard great things about him as a teammate and as a professional. I think he's, he does a great job there on the field. He tends to get penalized almost all the time for being a hothead and unnecessary roughness penalties and hits after the whistle and getting into fights. And, you know, like, that's great and if you have one of those guys you could work it out and control it I think the Steelers looked at this offseason and said man we need some leadership because we got some guys that are getting a little bit out of control here I don't know if that's the leadership that you're looking for for George Pickens to say because it's hard to sit here and say hey George you got to be better when DK's out there hitting guys with his helmet you know and going and you're going well what about him they're like ah, yeah but he's great you know, there's <laughs> like, I don't know. I don't know how to tell you that. I just that's where it worries me with DK is is the on the field like penalties and the excessive penalties that he gets throughout a season. If you can work those out, which I mean, if any team's gonna, it's probably going to be the Pittsburgh Pittsburgh Steelers. I mean, great, but I don't I don't know that you're going to be able to. And I just don't know the repercussions that that brings to a, a young wide receiver core that already has some issues to work out. That's interesting. I mean, I kind of didn't know about that side of, of DK. I mean, it makes sense. Um, I don't know, man. Maybe that's just Steelers football. You know, maybe you're you're just being soft, and maybe the Steelers need a bit of an <laughs> edge to to their team now. I mean, I, that does make sense, though. I don't know. I I think I agree, though. Like, if there's any team, I think that can reel them in. If there's any head coach that can reel them in, uh, it's probably Mike Tomlin. To be quite honest with you, like I yeah. I think that he. He could do that, but I it does it does make sense. I don't think that's something that the Steelers would want to deal with. I mean, for an offense that already, I, I wouldn't call them limited. I mean, especially with DK in in that offense. I mean, it'd be pretty good. Uh, that's one of the more talented offenses I feel like um, that there is. I mean, in the and like at least in the AFC North, if not um, all around the AFC. So, it, like you said, it would be a great you know talent investment, but. You know, it, it, there are other talented guys, right? If there's, that's the thing with the Steelers. Like, don't, I don't know, don't, don't just get anyone. You know, yes. don't like, don't just yes. 
get a don't get a superstar just to get a superstar. Get the right one. Um, yes, because this is ideally this is ideally a multi year deal. But like, don't don't like you know throw away this year because you got uh, you got a guy instead of your guy. Um, yep, you know that's I agree. An, it, it's got to be a sound investment, guys. This is a public service announcement, and it is urgent. You think that you have mastered the look in sweatpants and joggers? Well, guess what, my friend? You have not. You are one step away from wearing pajamas in public, and your significant other is starting to think that you look like a slob. It's time to take your sexy ass and put it in some jeans. If you take anything away from today's show, it's that the perfect jean isn't just another pair of stiff, uncomfortable, nut-crushing pants. They have cracked the code on solving your denim difficulties, and it is time to rejoice. Check them out. Always looking good. The perfect jean makes great looking, perfect fitting jeans that are as comfortable as sweatpants and more stretchy than a kangaroo's pouch. It's made from a special denim fabric that's super soft, just like sweatpants, just like joggers, but it doesn't make you look like a slob. And the best part, they make six fits from skinny to thick, thick waist sizes from 26 to 50 and lengths from 26 to 38. So whether you are a thick, thick guy or a short king, or guess what? Anything in between. They perfectly fit your body and accentuate your assets. Pun intended. Trust us when we say that these are truly fucking perfect jeans. Once you try them on, you'll never go back. Once again, boom. For a limited time, our listeners get 15% off their first order plus free shipping at theperfectgene.myc or just Google the perfect gene and use our code all Steelers 15 for 15 percent off look at i have been looking for a while i have been talking to my fiance daily i need to find a look i've tried them all i tried khakis i tried joggers i tried sweatpants i tried shorts nothing fits me like the perfect jeans fit me the perfect gene doesn't just stop there though they've revolutionized t-shirts as well the perfect t has just enough stretch to hide the beer belly while accentuating your arms and chest for that flawless look it's soft like butter without shrinking in the wash like all your other t-shirts it's just no well perfect the perfect gene always has free shipping always has free exchanges and always has free returns so you can have peace of mind knowing that your order is completely risk-free. It's finally time to stop crushing your balls in uncomfortable jeans by going to theperfectgene.myc. Our listeners get 15% off your first order plus free shipping, free returns, and free exchanges when you use our code ALLSTEALERS15 at checkout. That's 15% off for new customers at theperfectgene.myc with promo code ALLSTEALERS15. After your purchase, They'll ask you where you heard about them. Please, please, please give us some support and tell them that we sent you. Fuck your khakis and get the perfect gene. I agree. I agree. So I might be over exaggerating the the penalty thing, but I don't I really don't. I don't know what like a, a number is. DK has been flagged 31 times in his career in five years. So mm-hmm. I don't know, like a little bit more than five times a season. Maybe that's nothing, but. Maybe it's maybe it's something. I have no idea. Maybe maybe I'm over exaggerating it, but I agree with you. I think you have to go get your guy, not just a guy. I and I think DK could be the like your guy, like I you know anybody who's out there trying to call for D- DK Metcalf is not like ah oh, you know what we're gonna settle for DK. You know yeah. like it's like no like that's a great <laughs> investment that a lot of teams would love to have. Does his cap hit worry you? Uh, twenty four and a half this year, I believe it's twenty nine and a half. Next year for the Steelers, they could probably work out a quarterback situation to keep that cheap. But does that worry you at all? It does worry me um, like quite a bit, honestly. Like, you know, I know I've said like salary cap's not real and it and it isn't. But man, it you're just you're having to sacrifice at some other positions where you need to make those investments to make room for DK Metcalf. And, um, you know, it, it's just like when it comes down to DK versus you know, whatever it is for Cortland Sutton, I think it's what a 17, 13, 13, 13. And 13 and a half. Yeah. Like, I'm sorry. Like, I, I think you can get, you can raise your ceiling. You can get uh, uh Cortland Sutton is good enough. Um, He's not a DK replacement. He's not necessarily a filler for him, but he yeah. is, he is good enough for what the Steelers need. And at 
close to half the price. Um, mm-hmm. That seems like the better the better move in my book. Um, just twenty. What is it? Twenty eight million. You said yeah. Twenty four and a half this year. Twenty nine next year. Yeah, that's ridiculous. Like it, the Steelers, I don't think can can really afford that. That is, um, that is, that's a lot of money. Um, it for a team that is already paying a bunch of guys a bunch of money, and then you got to figure out the quarterback situation next year. Um, there are, and I think you got extensions coming up for, or you should have extensions or or new Pat contracts. Najee Harris is an option. James Daniels needs a contract next year. TJ's two years away. Minka's three years away. Cam, you got to decide what you're doing with Cam Hayward. You know, yeah. the only Dante Jackson is only here on a one year deal. Like, yeah, there are definitely yeah. some some names to watch. I agree. I, it does worry me. I think any wide receiver making thirty million dollars is like, I just don't see the value in the position. I just really don't. Like, I think you could get younger guys for cheaper that make an impact. I mean, I was I was talking yesterday on a podcast that, talking about. You know, why were there no trades when everybody was flying around the, the rumor mill talking about wide receiver trades? And it's just because, like, guys, teams see the value in younger guys and that they don't want to pay and give up compensation for a guy that, yeah, it's great, but, like, can't you develop somebody else into that? Can't you give somebody a year before they turn into a Brandon A.U., D.K. Metcalfs, and these star wide receivers pop up all the time and, I get it. Like you're not DK Metcalf and you're not Brandon Ayuk and you're not Tebow Samuel, but I mean, you got potential to be those guys. And I think the teams see that and look at it and say, eh, I don't know if I'm willing to give that up. I will say just on a positive note for this, I think the Steelers could make it work. Like, I don't think that they, I think they'd have to bank on Justin Fields signing a two year, very limited deal and him turning into something. And, and they feel good them feeling good about Justin Fields in the future for the next two years. I think if that's the case, a two year deal works in their favor. I think anything farther than that, you're starting to get a little tricky because then you got to decide on George Pickens and so on and so forth. But I think if it's two years of a massive cap hit, you can make that work. If you're the Pittsburgh Steelers without really like struggling to come up with the money. That is if your quarterback situation remains limited. And I, I think that's a question but it, it's a way. There's a way around it if you're the Steelers to make it work. Yeah, I, be diff- Be pretty tough though. Like it, it is. Would be. It's it's, and I think you're banking on a very specific set of circumstances falling your yes. way, and you yes. know something's going to get screwed up, something's going to get messy, uh, and it's not going to fall. You. That's the thing. Like is it's a very narrow hole in which you know, or a very narrow set of circumstances in which you can fit a DK Metcalf type of contract uh, or really, I mean, any type of major receiver contract uh, yes. into this, into their current salary cap situation while also making sure that you have a quarterback that's that can utilize those guys properly. Yeah, I agree. I agree. So-